Hello and welcome to game 3 against Pico Paco. This kingdom, we have some draw in Lost City. Mastermind is a very good card. Um, it seems like Cardinal will cause problems for you. Lost Arts shows up again here, but the target is not so clear. Maybe Cardinals? I'm not sure. But Mastermind on Lost City is really where you want to be. And then you have your, you probably play a lot of Cardinals. Is what I was thinking here. Um, Falconer is nice to gain the Cardinals. Maybe trade and post there trashes for you. So that is going to be a target for me early. So I want to open something like Cardinal and Old Map to help me get to the trade and post to help thin the deck. Pico Paco does the same. Their Cardinal flips a couple coppers for me. This is not a good hand to copper. Um, I wish I could at least buy another old map or silver or even the snowy village only source a plus buy in the kingdom so you will want one at some point but unfortunately not um, going to be the case here Pico Paco gets their trade and post uh, old map for them now on turn four uh, rotates to voyage buys voyage voyage is a great card you know, potentially they could trash a couple cards with trade and post on the voyage to set up a mastermind. Many, many ideas are present here with voyage. Play a falconer. Many things. Um, here, this is a bit awkward and I don't want to trigger a shuffle with both the old map and the cardinal and the trade and post out of it. So I just play the cardinal, which actually, luckily, exiles the voyage from them. So that's helpful for me. Let's see um, how much that uh, actually matters. Sunken Treasure for them. I like the Sunken Treasure. Gains you more cities, masterminds early. And it is fairly early, just turn 5. Why not? Have a Sunken Treasure. We also get up to Sunken Treasure money here. Does mean I have to forego on the trading post trash. But I think the um, Sunken Treasure is worth it. Snowy Village for Pico Paco. Snowy Village for me here. I get my sunken treasure exiled. No, I really wanted that. That was helpful. Uh, because here is the point where the game snowballs out of control for me here. They get double five on this turn effectively. Uh, they're able to gain a five, which is a lost city. And they buy a five, which is a mastermind. I do not have my sunken treasure. Unfortunately, my cardinal also misses. I could buy back the Sunken Treasure here, but I'd rather have the Mastermind, I think. I don't know. I don't think I have time to go back for the Sunken Treasure, but maybe I should. Maybe I should. And I don't really want two in the deck, but maybe that's fine. I got my Silver Exiled, which we really don't care about. Double five again for them here is another pair of Law City and Mastermind. Game is looking bleak here already. Exiles the Mastermind because they'll be buying... Lots of them, so they could get it off the exile mat soon. Another mastermind for me here. There aren't great targets for mastermind in my deck, so maybe the second or the first one should have been a lost city, but I think we are in a terrible position regardless of what choice we made there. Another snowy village, just, you know, if the cardinal finds that, I'll be happy to part with it. Pico Paco lines up Mastermind on Lost City, so that is very, very good news for them. They see almost their whole deck. They exile one of my Masterminds. Trash a card. Sunken Treasure gains a Bandit. Nine is going to be another Mastermind. And another Snowy Village. I triple play Cardinal here, but I miss once. This is not impactful. They just get rid of the Snowy Village because they have two of them. And I think I miss again on the next one. Or is something I hit that doesn't really bother them, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, they just get rid of the Sunken Treasure because now it doesn't really do a lot for them. They have they will have Lost Cities and Masterminds in play. The two prime targets. Okay, so I finally got a pair of Lost City and Mastermind, but it is much too late. Double Mastermind uh, finds Lost City and Snowy Village as their targets, and we just click X in that position. I think we're way too um, too much in the back to come back there. So 
So Game 3 goes to Pico Paco. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.